Hi everybody, welcome back again to my farm and also to my channel where I teach you tips and bits about rabbit farming. So stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Don't forget to also subscribe and give us a like, make a comment or share to somebody else so that they would also be enlightened about this broadcast. All right. So today I want to talk briefly about selecting breeding stock, like mistakes that you should avoid in selecting breeding stocks. So this is going to be a very short video. All right. So number one thing, I mean, I'm talking from my personal experience because I started, uh, restarted my farm and I got a few matured, um, what do you call it, packs. And so the problem I'm facing now is conception issue all right and i think that is something that i would really take my time to talk about but let me just address this about selecting breeding stock so mistake number one to avoid in selecting breeding stock don't don't just go for cheap animals just because uh they are cheap you need to consider the parent stock you need to consider the quality of those rabbits i'm not even talking about names and colors because in ghana here and even in africa most of us do mixed breeding you get me and i'm talking especially in, in in connection to ghana most of us do mixed breeding so the colors are messed up and the colors are mixed up which has an advantage and disadvantage because when you go and read online about this particular breed and then you come you go buy or you, you you launch out the search for such breed and you don't get the features to be in line with what you saw online you might think someone has deceived you but the problem is that they are mixed breed okay so number one you you should go for a hybrid like rabbits that have been crossed with pure breeds there are people in the country and also in the system with such breeds all right look out for how heavy the rabbits especially the parent stock if you are buying little ones the parent stock look at how heavy because this is a business and you want to look at growing rabbits in the fastest way possible to be able to sell them off then get your money then be able to buy your feed and sort out other utility and cost of production okay so you might want to look at big rabbits rabbits that are very huge and that grow fast you should visit the farm to you know be able to inspect the kind of breed a person have if you are not able to try your best to you know make those findings before you buy those breeds. because trust me it's an investment that can either cost you or make you okay so you want to look at that then i want to include this advice people may not take it but do not buy her overly matured rabbits let's say nine months old 10 months old some people tell you this is a year old thinking oh when i get it immediately i get it i'm going to get it to cross and breed because sometimes some farmers are not honest they will, they will tell you the rabbit is nine months meanwhile it's one year they tell you that oh it's eight months meanwhile it's maybe two years because you can't really tell much sometimes you can use the nails to tell but it doesn't speak so much so i would always advise people to go for younger rabbits all right like three four months especially when you know they are young and not matured for mating okay so that you can groom them yourself the way you want it so that they can pick up with even the feed that you feed at your farm okay so that they'll be able to when the time is right for you to cross them it should be possible okay then now one mistake to avoid personally i have personally have adapted this method of doing particular breeds maybe two breeds three breeds i don't want to worry myself with too many breeds okay to avoid that mixture of breeds so here i have um So these are English sports slash chicken, all right? They're not fully chickens. So these are the breeds that I'm 
trying to specialize in breed them more and then also the new Freeland Here we have the New Zealand white, also very nice breed. And I'm doing that to avoid those breed of mixtures, like mixtures of breed, sorry. Because I believe when you focus on a particular breed, it helps in a way. Uh, for example, even if you want to have different breeds, try as much as possible to cross a chinchilla with a chinchilla, a New Zealand with a New Zealand, and what have you, all right? It, it, I, I tried that sometime and it kind of gives you a certain unique features on the rabbits. So you end up having pure genes. I wouldn't use the word pure breed, but pure genes. In the end, when you're able to breed the, the different generations, you, you may even end up getting a pure breed, you know. So that is one thing. Avoid going for... As much as possible, avoid buying mixtures of breeds, all right? For me, I think it doesn't help. So when you want to focus on New Zealand, focus on New Zealand. And even if you have one who have different breeds at your farm, make the breeding plan such that they are coming out of a pure line or a pure genes, okay? So the combination will be very, you know, unique. Then another mistake to avoid when selecting breeding stock, hmm. Uh, look out for disease prone uh, farms watch out for that because there are some farms that there may be a disease at the farm you know uh, we've had situations where people are clearing their farm due to an uh, uh, an attack on the farm if you are not aware and you go and buy those rabbits you would end up coming to spread those diseases at your farm so if you can go for rabbits that are strong and healthy not somebody who is just laying his rabbit up because of a, a disease attack all right then another thing you want to avoid is what um yeah so basically that is it don't joke with your male breeder or your backs they should be huge they should be big because they are the ones that influences or have a bigger um what do you call it in terms of genes i don't know whether to use the word chromosomes and all that i think they have the bigger chromosomes because they get to you know pass on their trait more to your breeders or to your kids that will be born more than even the do so as much as possible go for a huge a huge bag if possible you know it will help because this is a business and so you don't want to make it look like a hobby you're just there to raise rabbit look speed is expensive so when you are doing it do it in such that you can earn some profit and then also save yourself some time because you don't want to waste your time on these breeds and not end up getting anything so i think these are a the few things i may have to talk about things to look out for when selecting a breeding stock which may be another video because i didn't want this to be too long so these are things to avoid like i've said avoid getting old rabbits avoid it as much as possible avoid getting old rabbits. even if you're going to get some old rabbits get one that has kids along with it if somebody's selling a rabbit with eight kids okay then also you want to look at you want to make sure that you don't buy too many breeds on your farm to mix up the breeds you know there is something unprofessional about that for me in my in my opinion all right then also avoid going for farm uh, for for rabbits from farmers that have disease issue so that's why when you're able to visit the farm you can tell what is wrong at the farm sometimes this ear mites and then ear canker is so so contagious that once you go get it from another farm to your farm it's it's crazy you will battle with it for a long time before it finally leaves your farm so you want to make sure that it's a disease free animal you are bringing or the source of those animal 
is a place where there are no diseases all right then also go for good bags the male ones go for good bags that can pass on their fast growing traits to your kids or the rabbits that you produce all right i hope that this was enlightening to somebody i remain damus and you can always reach out to me you can look up to my whatsapp and then you can dm me for any advice any consultation on rabbit farming just to also let you know that we construct rabbit cages and then we also also do ceramic feeders all right like for example this is a ceramic feeder mm, very nice and heavy enough all right then we also do cage constructions like you are seeing exactly as this all right we'll talk about quick cage construction in another video but for now thank you for watching and i hope you subscribe don't forget to give us a comment a like and also share to any rabbit farmer especially somebody who wants to start so that we can all grow together thank you for watching and see you again Please, that's the